Welcome back to UGTV, I'm Sol Gilbert. Remember, if you like what we do, hit subscribe, it really helps. So in this vlog, I'm literally catching up with Kelly Brown, who's one of our members, been from a member for like ever, and she's done some amazing things. We have a bit of an update with Nick Gemman, and we catch up with two really cool couple, uh, which is Dom and Nettie. All right, guys, so make sure you stay tuned to the end, and if you like it, please share. Right, okay, so I'm here with Kelly. Kelly, just for the viewers back home, just uh, give me your, your full name. Kelly Brown. Kelly Brown, and uh, what's your what's your sort of background in uh, in training? Um, well, when I started here first, um, it was mostly cardio. Yeah. I um, injured my knee. I lost a lot of weight when yeah. I first started. Yeah. Um, That's, that's, that's quite a sort of weird thing for a girl, I guess, to sort of get into, right? Yeah. It's become a little bit more popular as of late. Um, and I'm, I'm, you know, you're, you know, you've done an amazing, amazing sort of uh, thing with all this right now. Um, so just tell the viewers back home. So you start, you got involved in powerlifting. You went to your first meeting and you were training with Sarah. Sarah Harpen, which was good. Uh, how'd you get on in your first meeting? Um, okay, it was different. I've yeah. never Found that you sort of had a bit of a, a, a bit of a knack for this. Um, yeah, it's come quite naturally. Yeah, it felt alright. Um, the weight was fairly decent at the time. But I think and so, so you obviously did your first sort of uh, competition. That went great. Um, you sort of learnt quite a lot from that. Yeah. Then you really felt like you had a passion for this. Um, so currently, where are you right now with your sort of training and your competition? I mean, you're wearing a Team GB powerlifting top. Yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, so that speaks volumes. So just for the viewers back home, tell them, what's your next step? What are you doing next? Um, the next step for me is World Championships in four weeks. In four weeks. My second World Championships. And how did you get on in the first one? Came second. Um, it was the first time I had gone out of the country to meet. It was very um, different, yeah. um, not having your home um, oh. rituals and everything. That yeah. would normally do when it comes to making weight just being in a different country but um yeah i'm happy i i've got decent numbers but this year so you're bringing a new level of confidence you know what to expect uh you know what you've got to do mm -hmm. do you think you can get that first spot i'm confident good um i reckon i'm gonna do my best and um Okay, and, and lastly, I mean, obviously, you've been, like you said, you've been a member here for like approximately about four years now, and your journey's been quite varied from chasing calories to now powerlifting. Um, what do you think the underground gym does for you as an athlete? Um, it's the perfect environment. Um, it's got everything you need, everyone's friendly, you just feel at high confusion, the staff are amazing. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, so last we're just going to wrap this up now. So for all the viewers back home or the people that are watching this channel that maybe want to support you, reach out to you with a message or what have you, where can they get hold of you? What social networking site? Um, I'm on Instagram, uh, Kelly underscore Link26, and Facebook Brown. Okay, lovely. Well, make sure you give this girl a follow. She's doing big. As you can see, the underground gym's got quite a lot to offer. Everybody, do you know what I mean? So really, no matter what your journey is, whether you start and you just want to chase calories or you just want to improve, get stronger, maybe have a goal or become a boxer, become a weightlifter, whatever, just get yourself down here. As Kelly just said, you know, it's really, really a very welcoming environment. So anyway, I'm just dropping Nick uh, Gemman's video. We just caught up with him. He's just literally dropping the last little bit of weight. And it's a really good message for you guys out there that want to understand what a boxer has to go through in the final week before they have to compete. So let's see what Nick's got us. Right, okay, so last time we saw Nick, he did a little five minute interview just talking about his up and coming fight this weekend. Just doing like a bit of a weight check with him now and just asking where he's at. Come Nick, tell the viewers what you have to go through on the final week before you fight. Uh, final week's really hard. Uh, all the hard work is done, but it's still keeping the weight down is important. So it's no high training, just still lots of training, 
light on your feet, you want to save the energy on your feet, but still keeping the sweat out. So how much water do you predict to take out of your body through the course of the next few days? I would say about seven litres. Seven litres. Seven litres. So, so currently, like, whereabouts is your weight at the moment? My weight now is probably about 12.2. I'll be boxing at 11.10 11, uh, 11, on, okay. the night, on the Friday night at the weigh-in. So I'll have six litres of water today, then uh, cut the water out, keep sipping on the water, vitamin C up, dandelion, and it will come out. So that's six litres of water, just for the views back home, they don't quite understand this, right? What we have to do is overload the body, so it, you keep you keep urinating, right? Yes, exactly that. So the body feels comfortable losing the water, so that when you cut out your water tomorrow, your body's still peeing out the water, essentially, yes. and that's stripping the water out of the muscle, right? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, the body's a very, uh, very powerful thing. A lot of people don't know about that, so uh, yeah, it is important, really okay. important. And how, how important is it to get it right? So important, like uh, two fights ago, I had a check weigh in. They put the check weigh in two days before, and when I was taking in so much water, I couldn't get the water out of me. So I actually got stripped for the title. So I come in a pound heavier, and they stripped me for the title. So even though I would have won the fight, I wouldn't have won the title on the night. That's such a shame. Well, listen, we know you're going to get it right this time, mate. You're an absolute true professional. The whole of UG's behind you. Go to us proud, mate. Much appreciate. Thank you very much. Cheers. Fresh off about four minute rounds with, e with uh, Sonny on the pads there, Ethan. How are you feeling? Tired. Tired? Yeah. yeah. So you're in here, you're working with Charlie, he's your coach at the moment, and also you've got Sonny, who uh, does a bit of boxing out of the uh, New Haven gym. Yeah. Yeah, it's good, it's good, isn't it, for a midday sort of like workout? Yeah, it's decent, it's hard. It's different as well. Yeah. He so works some speed work, works some pad work, everything else. You also work, work down here as well, don't you? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Enjoyed it? Yeah, it's decent. So, right, right, Charlie, that was a fast deal round there, you're blowing quite hard. So, this is good, it's good for you to sort of get in here and do this kind of work with, uh, with some of your boys that you train. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it keeps you sharp? Yeah, really sharp. And how do you find it works with the relationship between you and the guys like Ethan, Sonny, the people that you help train? That's all good, it's really good. It yeah. was more of a lacquer. Strong team. Yeah, and that's for the spell, right? Yeah, 100%. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? 100%. That's it. If anyone wants to look up Charlie, Charlie's the resident sort of amateur boxing kind of like level uh, coach down here. He's available for private, so he teaches the classes. So hit him up on, where can they find you? Uh, at Charlie Wise PT on Instagram. And um, Facebook? Charlie Wise Personal Training. There you go, guys and girls. Check that out. There you go. Snap, snap. What I found two absolute gems off the underground gym. So this is Dominic and this is Netty, and they're on this Olympic lifting journey right now underneath the coaching of John Walton. And honestly, let's just catch up. Right, so, good. How are we doing? Good, quickly. Can I borrow you for two seconds? Right, okay, so I've just kind of introduced you guys right now. So listen, for the viewers back home, just drop your name, Dom. Dominic Rapson. Okay, and what? And Okay, and where can guys find you back through social media right now? On social media, Instagram, Facebook, those are my go-to. And uh, obviously website's always there and it's Origins Nutrition. Fantastic. And Nettie? Mine's Nettie.upyourrom for Instagram, upyourrom for Facebook, website upyourrom.com. Okay, so just quickly, I'm not going to stop you and interrupt your set because you're absolutely doing some amazing things right now, the Olympic lifting. Obviously, your background has gone from flight literally from diet and nutrition. We've interviewed you in the past yeah. uh, to parkour to calisthenics. Uh, and Netty, yours is obviously you've been doing your poles, conditioning, and everything else. And you've really sort of got into the flexibility side of things right now. So, at the moment, you're doing a lot of Olympic lifting. Yeah. And how's and how's that working for you on your sort of journey? Well, the power. That's what mostly I got in for. Knees as well. Wanted that strength with the knees. And basically, I was at a meetup, um, I think about a month ago, and a lot of the guys had just been training parkour. I was out jumping them in the distance. So, fantastic. There you go, proofs in the pudding there, and heavily addicted now. And Antoinette? For Olympic lifting, I love it because it puts strength behind your mobility. I think that's the most important thing. I don't want anyone to be over flexible and bendy. I want everyone to be strong and mobile. So, it puts the training performance in every practice that they do. 
Okay, that's amazing. And lastly, what I'm just going to do is you, you guys have a very sort of um, unique approach to diet, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. That, for the for a better word, right? At the other end of the extreme, then, yeah. And is it just a total meat diet? Is that what you guys have? Yeah, yeah. So we've just adapted our body and our stomachs back into just taking acidic and pure meat. Nothing else. Nothing that hasn't got eyes or moves about yeah. makes a sound. So yeah, all meat. Fantastic guys, yeah, lovely stuff. Well so listen, make sure you give these guys a follow. They will right, drop in cheers. their Instagram handles and everything else and they're looking amazing. Yeah. They're a super sexy couple. <laughs> cheers, and oh. yeah, you can always find us in here, our second home at Underground Gym. We're here every day. Fantastic, yeah. lovely. Good stuff guys, thank you.